Want to know why? Ask how. Howard, the humongous. Once upon a time in the 1990s, somebody started talking about Generation Y and Generation X and Generation Z and the Millennials and all kinds of weird stuff like that that I could never follow at all. And somebody came up with a phrase that I just couldn't get my head around. They said that one of these generations, Y, Z, Q, W, um, was a generation of slackers. Slackers? I mean, all the fun in life, aside from sex, is in work. Um, why would anyone ever slack? Somebody had to be hallucinating this. Maybe somebody was taking too much LSD and imagining a kind of person who could never possibly exist on the face of planet Earth. Yes, bees. Okay. Drones. Slack. I will grant you that. But humans, as insect-like as we are, don't have six legs. We don't slack. Then I got desperate. My God knows why I lost one of my assistants. Um, I probably left him at the supermarket someplace. <laughs> I disappeared among the vegetables. But at any rate, and I needed a new one. And I couldn't find anybody. So I finally called on a friend. Now, this is a kid who... I'd gotten a phone call from a kid across the street who'd just gone off to college for the first time. He was a freshman. It was his first two weeks at school. He was at a very good school, Skidmore, one of those schools. Um, Vassar. He was at Vassar. And he called and said, I just met this kid who talks like you. He's the only other person I've ever met who talks like you. Maybe you two should meet. And this kid started coming down from Vassar every couple of weeks. I was stuck in a bed for 15 years with an illness. And he started coming down from Vassar. And he lay there on the bed near me. And we'd talk, and we'd talk about all kinds of amazing stuff. And I knew this kid really wanted to work with me. And, but I did not feel he would be reliable. He was somehow too close to me. And I was really desperate. So I called him, and I gave him the job. And guess what? I discovered that this crazy notion of a slacker generation was true. There is such a thing. Most people, when you say job, associate the idea that you show up for work every day. At the end of the work week, you get a paycheck. But the reason you get a paycheck is because while you're there, you work. Something was missing in my friend's sense of what a job was. Yes, he knew you had to show up every day. That's good. You know, give him credit for that. Yes, he knew you should collect a paycheck at the end of the week. Okay, that shows he's got an IQ of over 10, right? A tadpole could realize that if properly trained. Um, but he didn't know that while you're there, you're supposed to work. He didn't have a clue. If you tried to discuss it with him, he wouldn't have understood a word of what you were talking about. As a consequence, I discovered many, many months later, I was being fined for the government for $10,000 for not doing this and fined for the, by the government for $10,000 for not doing that. And just about everything that was on the list that I went over every morning with my assistant to be done was not being done. Why? Because a job is a matter of showing up and collecting a paycheck. What you do when you're there is not relevant. And this is not the only kid I met like that. Several years later, I was desperate for an assistant again and hired another friend from the same generation. God knows whether it was X, Y, or Z. And guess what his problem was? Yes, he knew about showing up, Yes, he knew about collecting the paycheck. He even knew how to sign it on the back and cash it. Guess what? He didn't know. How he got a generation of slackers is beyond me. And remember the bottom line, the greatest fun you can have in the world aside from sex is working your fucking ass off at something you enjoy. And if you're not working your fucking ass off at something you enjoy, you are not getting everything you can out of life.